Joining us now is the Republican governor of Minnesota, Tim Pawlenty. Governor Pawlenty, it is very kind of you to make the time to be with us tonight. It's hard for us to get Republicans to be on the show, and I'm really glad you've decided to come back to us. I'm happy to be here, and you're funny, Rachel. Oh, thank you. It's nice of you to say. Um, you have a roughly $5 billion budget deficit in Minnesota. It's probably going to grow. Uh, but I know that you think the stimulus bill is a bad idea, so that means you're turning down the money, right, Governor? Well, I have concerns about the bill. I think it could have been done better. I was in favor of a stimulus bill. I was disappointed in this one for a variety of reasons. But in Minnesota's case, we're going to accept the money for this reason, Rachel. We pay in for every dollar to the federal government. We get about 72 cents back. We're the 46th least receiving state of any state in the nation in terms of federal money. So our view is if you buy the pizza, it's okay if you have a slice. It doesn't mean you can't express concerns about the bill or offer suggestions of how it could have been better. I think thinking about this as a, as, as a pizza would get you to the conclusion that you've ended up with. But I, I don't, I, my analogy is this. I pay my taxes to support my local police, but it doesn't mean that I would buy stuff from a crooked cop that was heisting stuff out of an evidence locker or something. If you were getting offered something that you think you shouldn't be offered, you shouldn't take it, should you? Well, I think the bill has some positive features, and my view of it is this. The federal government is spending money they don't have. They're borrowing it in part from the Chinese. That's number one. Number two, it could have been a better targeted bill, a more impactful bill, probably for less money. That's number two. And number three, it was a missed opportunity because I think with some modest modifications, it could have been truly bipartisan and lived up to that promise of President Obama. And so for those reasons, I express concern about the bill. I think it could have been done better. So the answer isn't no, it's better. And again, when you're paying the tab like Minnesota is, one of the major contributors, subsidizers of the federal government, I don't think it's untoward for us to accept our share of the money. Minnesota is in a heck of a financial pickle right now, like a lot of states are. What was your backup plan if your congressional delegation had, had listened to you, had said that this was not good enough to vote for, that the, if, if they had voted against it, what if the stimulus bill hadn't passed? Well, we had to put our budget together, my budget proposal, before the stimulus bill was finalized. So we purposely understated the money that we'd be getting from any stimulus bill. So we only put in about 25% or 30% of the money we're actually going to receive. Turns out we're going to receive a multiple of that. But we did that intentionally, Rachel, understating the amount of money that we would use from any stimulus bill. It turns out we undershot it dramatically. Did you ask Senator Klobuchar to vote against this? I did not. Our view of it was that we weren't going to lobby the bill other than to express concerns, but I did not tell Senator Klobuchar or anyone else to vote for or against the bill. We didn't lobby the bill. What do you think about Republican governors who did get involved with their congressional delegations on this? I know that Governor Christ in Florida uh, did lobby Senator Martinez, for example, that he'd vote for the bill. That was not successful lobbying, but he was quite overt about that. He made it known. Other Republican senators, Republican governors made noises indicating that they might say no even to the money once it came through, uh, and they lobbied their, uh, they made, they made their, their positions known to their congressional delegations as well. What do you think about those strategies? Well, I think different governors have different circumstances and different philosophies and approaches. So the four governors that you mentioned have a different view of it. They felt strongly, I think, in favor of the bill. So that's okay. I mean, it's a free world. We have a democracy, and that's why people can express their own views. But the vast majority of Republicans, obviously in Congress, and for that matter, the vast majority of Republican governors had concerns about this bill that I think could have been addressed in a bipartisan moment, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Do you think that there is a political div division between governors and members of Congress in the Republican Party? Well, we have 22 Republican governors and four supported the bill that I know of. It's the four that you mentioned. So, again, the vast majority of Republican governors did not support the bill or at least had concerns about it. I think many governors, like me, were in favor of a stimulus package. We just thought it could have been done better than this one. I look for the day that a, a governor, Republican or Democrat, says, I was against this and I'm not going to take the money. I can figure out a way to do it without it. That will be a truly watershed day for political clarity in this country. But in the meantime, uh, your clear statement of your views is going to be the closest we get. Governor Pawlenty, thank you for joining us. Anytime. Thank you. Governor Tim Pawlenty uh, represents Minnesota. And I will just say, we ask a lot of Republicans to be on the show, and um, th they almost always say no. So I am particularly grateful whenever anybody says yes. And any Republicans out there who we ask, see, I'm not so bad. Coming up on the show, I'm going to.